Hello my lovely friends, I'm Tetsi and today we're going to be talking about leeches. What else? So the uh, purpose of today's video, which has also been brought to us by leech.com, today we're going to talk about how to unbox the leeches that you've received in the mail and where to store them, what to do with them. So I've laid out um, like a sample layout of what I'm going to need as soon as I receive my leeches in the mail. Normally leeches will arrive from leech.com and they will arrive in like a package similar to this one, uh, either sent by USPS, the post office, or UPS, DHL, various different couriers. So let's say that this is the package I received. I'm going to unbox it and show you how I proceed to um, take out my leeches and store them. So the first thing you do is take scissors, cut open the package very carefully because you don't want to um, disturb the wholesomeness of this, of this setup of the packaging and of the leeches, of course, as well. So what we wanna do is just be extra cautious and careful when we open up this package. Now leeches travel normally on average between one and three days if they're sent within the United States. If they're sent abroad or overseas, they would travel somewhere between three days and like five to seven days at the most, maybe to the farthest most points of the world. And depending on how they're packaged, leeches can survive up to 11 to 13 days if they're packaged properly. So, um, in a series of videos, I'm going to show you how to package leeches properly so they can survive a long journey, like an um, intercontinental journey. Or even if you just decide to send leeches within the United States or within your own country's borders. So, I've just taken out the leeches from my package and this is what they look like. They're basically in a um, absorbent paper. I unwrap the paper and this is what the jar might look like, typically. The reason the jar looks like this is because there's absolutely no way I can unscrew this now. Um, the reason the jar looks like this and, and there's a piece of cotton strung inside is because if you drop the cotton inside the leeches, uh, during travel, this cotton will become like a deadly ball and it will kill the leeches inside. So what you want to do, there's absolutely no way I can open it. Um, what you want to do if you're packaging them is to put your cotton just the same way as this guy did. Whoever packaged this. Ah! Wouldn't you know it, I managed to unscrew the cap. Okay, so this is one of the guys. And I'm just going to use forceps, which you can buy on leech.com. Everything you see here can be purchased on leech.com. And... Um, There'll, there'll be a link under the video, by the way. So, um, this is what the leeches look like. And this is how they look inside the jar. This is the cotton. Normally, the cotton will be green because they would have made excre extra, uh, excrements inside the, inside the jar while traveling. Um, normally they wouldn't arrive as clean as this because this would have gotten soaked in their green pea. So the way to know if the 
what color the pea would be is to look at this water because this is how like a two day old leach water looks like when you have oh jesus look at look at where they're going where are you guys going so this is how you have the leach water look when you haven't changed it in two days they basically start to um pee and and um it's time to change the water when you see this color. So I'm just showing you just to uh, demonstrate what the excrement color would look like when you actually receive this jar of leeches in the mail with this cotton. It'll be basically green. It will be extremely soaking wet and green. So one of the reasons you would put the cotton in is to, for two reasons, to keep them moist and to keep them dry. What the heck are you talking about, Titi? How can you keep leeches moist and dry at the same time? Well, it's tricky, but it can be done. So when they're traveling, leeches tend to get very, very wet with their own green excrement which is their pee and when this happens there is a risk to their life because the green pea is very toxic even to themselves and it is very deadly to them so the purpose of this cotton is to absorb the green pea and the reason why it's wet is to keep them moist because if you don't keep them moist during travel, leeches will basically um, shrink up and dry up like a prune and you won't have a, a live leech anymore. So what I do when I receive my leeches is I basically transfer them to my leech bucket, which also you can purchase from leech.com. And when you have a leech bucket like this one, I think this one is a 10 liter one, this one can hold about uh, 100 to 200 leeches. Oh, look at this. Aren't they happy to see me? No, 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 no. So the um, secret to keeping them not bite you is to just pull them as quickly as you can. Basically, just keep moving them around as quickly as you can to prevent them from biting you. So I just transfer my newly received leeches to my leech bucket. Well, I could also, if I don't have a leech bucket, I could also put them in a jar like this one and just keep them there. So this is just tap water from the sink. And I just put it in my jar and transfer my leeches into this jar and just keep them there. I could also just fill up this jar with water, but you just never know the size of jar you're gonna receive. So that's why I, I like to have an extra large, extra jar, just in case. And uh, the way to handle leeches is just, is gently, because if you pull on them too hard, you might, damage them so this is why i just i sort of try to glide them and slide them onto the onto the jar wall when i take them off like this because you don't want to take them and just pull straight up uh, because they're very elastic and they keep holding on you see let me just show you you see this one she just keeps holding on. She doesn't want to let go. If I just keep pulling on her like that, she doesn't want to let go. But if I slide her sideways, she will easily, you see, sideways, she'll delatch from the walls. I hope this was uh, clear and understandable to you. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. 
leech.com is your source for leeches and leech supplies. It's the best source out there. You can also go to medicalleeches.com. You can go to hirudo.com. You can go to uh, leeches.com. You can also go to leech.eu. And all those sites will have leeches for you to buy. So finally, I have my little jar that I can just see right there. They're shedding their skins already. So if I just shake them up like this, I help them to shed their skin even better. So sometimes it does help for you to just shake them up a little bit. Give them a little shaking. All right. I hope you like this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Be sure to subscribe. And um, you should get notified when I come out with new videos if you subscribe. But if you don't get notified, there is a little bell under the subscribe button that you can press and make sure your notifications are on. All right, bye, I love you guys. Let me know what you think, let me know any questions and look at the links under the video. See ya.